is currently 11.35 p.m. of the same day. And this is my last segment for the last episode of Lit Vlogs, at least for now. Sophomore year edition, third and fourth quarter, and bonus <laughs> edition. So let me take you with me on my journey to convert this into a PDF and email it to my professor, because I am done. And then after this, I'm going to go to bed, because I almost passed out several times, but I managed to do it, and the fan is probably bothering you. So, I might time-lapse this part if it's going to take a little bit too long. I use Google Docs, by the way. I don't know why. Like, it just has a simpler... Interface? I don't know what I'm saying anymore, but I, li I prefer it over Word. Okay, so I'm just looking at it, just double checking everything. <sighs> everything seems pretty good. The whole thing is 14 pages, but. Oh, hell no. Wait. Why does it look like that? It moved itself. What the fuck? Weird. Huh? Wait. What the hell? What the hell are you doing? What the fuck? Um. Hello? The work cited thing moved from the top of the page to the bottom of the page, the other one, so... What do I do? Like, press... Let me try to say... Let me try saving that again one more time. And if it doesn't work, then... I'll do what I gotta do, and... Bear with me because this is the last time you're gonna see me like this for a while. See my eye bugs? So I'm, I barely know what to press anymore. I've been working on this for so long. Oh god, why? No. I messed it up. It wasn't in the middle. Now I'm gonna go- Dude, what is- Why? Why would you do that? I can't even- What even is the middle, you know? God. Please. I'm just... The work excited thing keeps moving. Lord! Stop moving. Please. Why won't you... It moved again. What the fuck? I don't understand. I don't understand. You better fix this shit. Google Docs. What the hell is wrong with you? I moved it one space down. Let's see if that makes a difference. Please. I can't take it anymore. Oh, it worked. It fucking worked. Ah. Oh. Okay. I'm just double checking everything again because I'm scared that it's gonna happen again. space um but i think that's how it's supposed to look like for the the space in between the title and the first paragraph everything seems fine okay i'm ready 
I just have to erase the first one and then rename this. I'm probably gonna speed this part up. Okay, that's it. I don't know if you wanna see me just like staring at the screen. It's freaking back hurts, man. You know, this part hurts a lot, like a lot. It's probably cause my posture too. But at the same time when I'm like, I know, I know it's probably my posture. Anyways, here I am. God. Subject. Re. Final. Paper. Can you hear my voice crack? Submission. Good evening. Good evening, ma'am. I apologize again for the late the extremely late submission I, I really appreciate your patience with my patience with me. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the to thank you for a, a good school year. Thank you for a good thank you for a good school year. I hope to see you on campus soon. Hey, <laughs> hey. Take care always and stay safe. a long ass video okay okay I'm just double checking it just one more time okay just just one more time okay seems fine and one two three and send Good message sent I'm a junior now, y'all. I mean, I've been doing like two weeks. <laughs> I've been doing my internship for like two weeks now, so like I, I guess I'm like in that limbo, but it's been a wild, wild journey. Whole lit vlogs, and I know that everything is gonna be posted late, but it means so much to me to have people watching, even if there's only a few of you, because it's a very niche uh, kind of this is a very niche kind of content I'm producing right now. I'll get back to my normal content pretty soon, but I want to try some new stuff as well, maybe video essays and stuff, but that's going to take a lot of work. And I got a lot of stuff to focus on, like the music and the shop, so if you want to support me that way, please do. <laughs> and check out my music channel, and thank you for all the support really means a lot to me and i'll see you soon in the next videos goodbye and happy junior year to me <laughs> <laughs>
Hello, so it is currently August 15, 2021, and I'm still debating on whether I should put this in the finale episode of Lit Vlogs or just a separate video and put it in the playlist, because I'm pretty sure that last one is going to be really long, so maybe this will be separate, or I'll just put it there to just get it over with, I don't know. But, an update on my grades, because I took you on this journey with me. I'm gonna tell you the results. So I'm really not the type of person who like, as you can tell, really like tries their hardest to um, say like, oh, I wanna be in honor of this. So, cause like for my mental health, for the sake of my mental health, I am grateful that I was also raised to believe that as long as I tried my best, then I'm, it doesn't mean that I'm dumb just because my grades are low. Although that did not stop me from thinking that. <laughs> but it was nice to hear that grades aren't everything. I actually got second honor for, I believe, second semester, which is just insane to me because you saw what I went through. You were literally with me through the whole thing. And it just feels nice because this is my first time getting an honor in university and I really busted my ass <laughs> needless to say and yeah I just want to thank you all for going with me on that journey if you actually watched the whole thing and I honestly really didn't expect second honor or any honor for that matter <laughs> because I'm just when I work I'm just trying to survive I'm not really trying to outdo anyone mostly just trying to outdo myself so um, for any of- because honestly, throughout my life, I've been like this unintentional underachiever in most subjects, and I just mo mostly show interest in the ones that I really like. So, uh, uh, even if I had tutors, my- a lot- not in high school, but in elementary, it was- I was still struggling a lot. I don't know why, but I just have- a really hard time paying attention <laughs> and that like work ethic of mine started to develop when I was in senior high and because I told myself I needed to take it seriously if I wanted to get into a good school <laughs> that's not to say that obviously college is you know ideal for every single person I believe that everyone should have the right to make an informed decision about their future you know I don't think that it's necessary for every single person to follow the path of you know high school senior high school college work get married children and you die whatever you know like i think that it's important to explore your options in whatever fits your lifestyle and um social class and whatever okay i'm not say i'm not trying to say like oh yeah everyone just um don't go to college at all or like yeah follow the path i'm going to like no okay i'm saying do whatever feels right to you and works for you don't feel like it may be hard for a lot of people that are going through an, a lot of pressure from their families but even if they want to take you know a different route and for those who do have the luxury or you know the support of choosing or even just the option <laughs> then i genuinely hope that you will do great and i obviously can't know every single one of you so i don't know your struggles and whatever but i hope that whatever it is you choose that you are happy in whatever you're doing and i hope that you want what you're doing you know and if you do have no choice in, but to take something that you don't want for the moment for practicality, that's fine too. You know, not everyone has the luxury, of course. So yeah, I just wanted to say that it's okay to like stray away from the usual path, but whatever works for you, whatever makes sense in your situation, whatever you feel will be good for you and you know, because it's going to be your life. You're going to be the one struggling with that for a few years. So I think it's important 
because I do have friends who are not in college. I have friends who dropped out of college. I have friends who are taking the traditional path. I have friends who are taking an extra year. I have friends who want to take masters and PhDs and whatever. And I think all of them are doing great in whatever they're doing. Like there, there may be, bleh, there may be struggles, but I truly believe that these people are dedicated and talented and, and uh, smart enough to find their way around it. And it's obviously gonna be hard because we're all still you know, in our early 20s, but I believe in these people and I just wanna see them succeed so bad in whatever path that they choose. So yeah, I don't know why that I went on that tangent, but yeah. I just, I've never been, I've just never been the type to like, you know, be obsessed with grades. And if you are, then that's completely fine as well, obviously. It's just, for me, it was just something that I never really like tried so hard at. So to see that me doing my best to survive, as you saw, you know, actually landed me a decent, okay, I'm not gonna like play it like so humble, just, just this once. <laughs> actually did pretty good pretty good very good actually um i'm thankful i don't know if this is gonna happen again because i'm not really striving for it but i'm very thankful for the support of the people now and you know my audience even if maybe in the future there will be people who would actually watch the whole thing the whole lit vlogs because right now i I only, I'm only at 201 subscribers, so to 201 of you, if you are actually um, crazy enough to watch every single lit vlog, I am very thankful. And if you don't, then I'm still thankful that you're subscribed. <laughs> or those who just, you know, drop a comment and like and just, yeah, I'm still very thankful. And if you see this in the future, I'm also thankful to you and just, yeah, whatever my academic situation or whatever it may be, my status in a few years, whether I graduate, whether I stop for a while, whatever. I'm just thankful in this moment that I was able to take you on this journey with me through online class and just the, the struggles of, you know, being in college during quarantine. And yeah, so thank you. We did it, got second honors. So uh, I'm proud of myself and it was exhausting. It really took a toll on my mental health and my sanity probably. But you know, this uh, the vlogs really actually helped me get through it. And just also um, the sheer desire to just get college over with. <laughs> so yeah, but I do love what I learn and my, my friends and my professors and my blog mates, but it just gets so exhausting. And that's just part of it. So whatever you're in right now, if you're about to start college, if you're in the middle of college, if you're about to graduate, if you're done, whatever, if you're con contemplating whether you're gonna go on, if you're gonna start college or whatever, whatever you, wherever you are right now, I genuinely wish you the best. And yeah. <laughs> and I just wanna say that, remember when I would just be eating peanut nips we upgraded y'all. My aunt gave me this from Landers and it's only been not even two weeks yet. And I'm eating this alone, by the way. So, hope I can get a refill. So, great. Cause I'm second honors and we got peanut M&Ms. So, you know, priorities. <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted to say thank you again. Thanks for watching. We did it. It was, I was gonna say it was awesome, but it was really not, it was exhausting. And I am very grateful and I had a learning experience, that's for sure. So thank you for watching it all. And that was just a quick little update. Uh, registration for first semester is on the 17th and is the 15th now. So hopefully third year, uh, you know what? I'm not even. I'm just gonna go into it with no expectations, so that I won't be disappointed or overwhelmed. So, 
Oh, also, can I just say that, like, the fact that there's nothing pre-enlisted anymore in the registration gives me so much anxiousness. Like, makes me so anxious because suddenly I was like, ah, oh, I wish I could choose my time. Mm. But now it's like, I don't know what to do with this freedom. And what if, like, um, the website, I'm not gonna say the name of the website because I might get demonetized someday if this does get monet- mon if this does get monetized, I'm just gonna spell it out. A-I-S-I-S, -I -I okay? And, yeah. So, the website for Ateneo. What? I'm scared that it's gonna crash. So, um, I'm batch two, which everyone in Ateneo knows sucks. <laughs> but yeah, I just don't know what to do with this freedom. I'm kind of scared, but I decided to take my PE in the second sem because it's less lewd. So, yeah, I'm going to mentally prepare myself for, for a crazy semester and the rest of the day I'm going to uh, edit the rest of my photos for the clothes in Sugar Blade 404 and edit the next lit vlogs that is about to go up week 12? Yeah. So, thank you so much again. And I'm sorry that I went on, off on a million tangents. I have just been so distracted lately because I'm currently on my... Uh, everlasting Jinx Monsoon Simpery arc. Uh, just been binge watching season 5 again. Just binge watch Jinx's entire channel. I've been a, a drag. I, I can't call myself a drag fan because I really don't know this, the local scene yet or just the scene outside of Drag Race. So let me just say I've been a Drag Race fan for two years now. But you know. Now I'm going off on another tangent, but yeah, Jinx is really getting me through this difficult time. So, yeah, um, that's a whole other video. So goodbye and thank you, Eminem's stream the the ginger snapped on Spotify.